and the audience is sitting there, you know, waiting expectantly, which something marvelous is going to happen. And I thought, this is the end of the world. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Little did I know. the trailblazing life and enduring legacy of Betty White. She first broke into entertainment in the late 1930s on radio before becoming one of the most iconic television stars of all time. Her groundbreaking career as a comedian, actress, and advocate spanned over 80 illustrious years. Born in Oak Park, Illinois in 1922, White moved with her family to Los Angeles as a child during the Great Depression. She attended Horace Mann School with dreams of becoming a writer. After honing her skills in radio and theater, White hosted Hollywood on television, a daily live variety show starting in 1949. This opened the door for her pioneering sitcom Life with Elizabeth in 1953, which she produced and starred in. Hounds, man. I'm beginning to feel like a Baskerville. <laughs> That's funny. Hounds of the Baskerville. <laughs> Isn't that a... <laughs> Why, you... Listen, honey, come back here! You, you. I, I cancel! <laughs> Even if it's free, I cancel! <laughs> As one of the first female producers in TV, White gained creative control on and off screen. For over 20 years, White became ubiquitous on game shows like Password and talk shows with Jack Parr and Johnny Carson. Her bubbly personality and quick wit entertained viewers night after night. Okay, Betty is standing in the wings. There is, sit down, Betty. There is so <laughs> much hilarity going on on the upper tier yes. that I have forgotten what Kirsty's rather morbid, as I remember, answer was. Her answer was hospital. Do you agree that that was not a little bit morbid? It was quite Isn't morbid. Isn't she But something? it's not as morbid as mortuary. Mortuary! White reached new heights playing the hilarious man-eater Sue and Nivens on the Mary Tyler Moore show in the 1970s, winning back-to-back -back Emmys. I tell you, when you hear that list read, Julie and Nancy and Loretta and Georgia, I really am so proud to be in that company, and I am so grateful to each and every one of those evil, adorable, wonderful, nasty people at M MTM, who, who makes Sue Ann the, the rotten lady that she is. <laughs> you can't help a few thank yous on an evening like this. It would be, it would be really nowhere without having to say thank you. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Carol Burnett, for the dress. <laughs> thank you. To myself, you understand. But for those ladies out there who need me, of course, White is best known for portraying the sweet, yet hilariously naive Rose. The Golden Girls premiered in 1985 and centered around four older women sharing a home in Miami with Blanche, Dorothy, and Sophia. White originally was offered the role of Blanche, but swapped with co-star Rue McClanahan at the suggestion of the director. As Rose, White delivered endlessly quotable lines with her humorously peculiar stories about her hometown of St. Olaf, Minnesota, and general confusion about life. Her dimwitted yet kind-hearted character provided the perfect comedic foil to the quick, sarcastic wit of Dorothy and overt sexuality of Blanche. White flawlessly executed Rose's exaggerated accent and dialect. Her impeccable comedic timing and ability to poke fun at her own sweet image and won over audiences. Even when Rose said absurd things, White delivered them. With such genuine innocence and warmth that made them utterly hilarious every time. The Golden Girls was groundbreaking for showing older women thriving in their golden years and became a ratings smash.
It racked up dozens of Emmy nominations, and White won Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series for the first season in 1986. The show's success proved White was a master of comedy and endeared Rose as one of the most iconic sitcom characters ever. Her performance on The Golden Girls cemented White's legacy on the Mount Rushmore of television comedy. White perfectly embodied Rose for seven seasons, creating television magic and memories to treasure forever. After The Golden Girls ended its run in 1992, White reprised her beloved. Role of Rose in the spin-off series The Golden Palace the following year. The show followed the three characters together in a new setting running a hotel in Miami. The show co-starred Don Cheadle, Cheech Marin, and Billy Sullivan. While The Golden Palace only aired for one season with 24 episodes, it allowed White to continue bringing warmth, humor, and her signature comedic brilliance to the endearing and oft-confused Rose character before officially retiring her. Though short-lived, the spin-off provided a vehicle for white stars to reunite on screen, playing their iconic characters from the golden girls that fans cherished. Before you do any extra chores, we have to watch what we spend. You know, things are a little slow around here. Good morning. What's up? Oh, I was just telling Oliver we have to do something to drum up some business. Well, I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just said I have an idea. <laughs> At age 88, White made history as the oldest person to ever host Saturday Night Live, for which she won another Emmy. Well into her 80 and 90, White's acting career continued thriving. She guest starred on shows like Boston Legal and had recurring roles on Hot in Cleveland. White even appeared in movies like the 2009 rom-com The Proposal. Her impeccable comedic timing and talents never wavered over her decades-long career. A lifelong advocate for animal welfare, I've White donated to and worked and with and organizations uh, like the Los Angeles Zoo for over 50 years. Have always fascinated me. She, she also championed women's rights and racial equality early in her boundary-breaking career. White passed away peacefully in December 2021 at 99 years old, just shy of her centennial birthday. She leaves a legacy as one of the most prolific entertainers of all time. With a career spanning over 80 years across radio, theater, film, and television, Betty White truly lived an extraordinary trailblazing life, breaking barriers for women in media and bringing joy to generations. Her wit, talent, and fearless spirit will forever be remembered and treasured.